Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, welcome. Um, so I want to start this series where I um, just read from the Quran. Um, I want to go from cover to cover. Um, it's the English translation. Um, it's translated by Muhammad Marmaduke Pickthall. Um, it's very matter of fact, so there's not, um, it's, it's almost a literal translation. Um, and I'm just going to read maybe like 12 to 13 pages a day um, from this book. And I hope, um, obviously I don't know how many people are going to be watching this live, but hopefully after it's published, uh, people will benefit afterwards as well. Um, so I'm just going to crack on with reading. Um, I'm not going to go into um, what the... Um, Surahs mean, um, obviously I don't know, I'm not a scholar or anything, so um, this is simply just the reading. Um, it's more for my benefit because I want to complete the Qur'an within the um, run month of Ramadan. Um, so please bear with me and um, hopefully you benefit as well and you can read along if you like. Um, so I'm just going to begin. Um, I'll start from the beginning, which is um, Surah... One, Al-Fatiha, the opening. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship, you alone we ask for help. Show us the straight path, the path of those whom you have favoured, not the path of those who earn your anger, nor of those who go astray. Surah 2, Al-Baqarah. This is translated the heifer or the cow. Alif, Lam, Mim. This is the scripture of which there is no doubt, a guidance to those who ward off evil who believe in the unseen and establish worship and spend of that we have bestowed upon them and who believe in that which is revealed to you and that which was revealed before you and are certain of the hereafter. These depend on guidance from their Lord. These are the successful. As for those, as for the disbelievers, whether you warn them or you warn them not, it is all one for them, they believe not. Allah has sealed their hearing and their hearts, and on their eyes there is a covering. Theirs will be an awful doom. And of mankind are some who say, We believe in Allah and the last day, when they believe not. They think they can deceive Allah and those who believe, but they deceive no one except themselves, but they perceive not. In their hearts is a disease, and Allah increases their disease. A painful doom is theirs because they lie. And when it is said to them, make not mischief in the earth, they say, we are peacemakers only. <clears throat> are not they indeed the mischief makers, but they perceive not? I just want to make sure the mic's close enough. And when it is said to them, believe as the people believe, they say, shall we believe as the foolish believe? Surely they are indeed the foolish, but they know not. And when they fall in with those who believe, they say, we believe. But when they go apart to their devils, they declare, we are with you. Surely we did only mock. Allah himself mocks them, leaving them to wander blindly on in their rebellion. These are they who purchase error in the price of guidance, so their commerce did not prosper, neither are they guided. Their likeness is as the likeness of one who kindles fire, and when it sheds its light around him, Allah takes away their light and leaves them in darkness where they cannot see. Deaf, dumb and blind, and they return not or like a rainstorm from the sky, in which is darkness, thunder, and the flash of lightning. They thrust their fingers in their ears by reason of the thunderclaps, for
for fear of death. Allah encompasses the disbelievers. Bear with me two minutes, guys. I just want to do something. Sorry, I just went to close the door. I didn't know if there was any background noise getting picked up. Um, so, the lightning almost snatches away their sight from them. As often as it flashes forth for them, they walk in it. And when it darkens against them, they stand still. If Allah willed, he could have destroyed their hearing and their sight. Allah is able to do all things. O mankind, worship your Lord who has created you and those before you, so that you may ward off evil, who has appointed the earth a resting place for you, and the sky a canopy, and causes water to pour down from the sky, by it producing fruits as food for you, and do not set up rivals to Allah when you know better. And if you are in doubt concerning that which we reveal to our slave, then produce a surah of the like of it, and call your witnesses besides Allah if you are truthful. And if you do it not, and you can never do it, then guard yourself against the fire prepared for disbelievers, whose fuel is of men and stones. And give glad tidings to those who believe and do good works, that theirs are gardens underneath which rivers flow, as often as they are entertained with food of the fruit of it. They say, this is what was given us previously, and it is given to them in resemblance. There for them are pure companions, there forever they remain. Allah disdains not to coin the similitude even of a gnat. Those who believe know that it is the truth from their Lord, but those who disbelieve say, What does Allah wish by such a similitude? He misleads many by it, and he guides many by it, and he misleads by it only miscreants. Those who break the covenant of Allah after ratifying it and sever that which Allah ordered to be joined and make mischief in the earth, those are they who are the losers. How do you disbelieve in Allah when you were dead and he gave life to you? Then he will give you death, then life again, and then to him you will return. He it is who created for you all that is in the earth. Then he turned to the heaven and fashioned it as seven heavens. And he is knower of all things. And when your Lord said to the angels, I am about to place a viceroy in the earth. They said, will you place in it one who will do harm in it and will shed blood? While we, we him your praise and sanctify you. He said, Surely I know that which you know not. And he taught Adam all the names, then showed them to the angel, saying, Inform me of the names of these if you are truthful. They said, Be glorified. We have no knowledge except that which you have taught us. You, only you, are the knower, the wise. He said, O Adam, inform them of their names, and when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the secret of the heavens and the earth? And I know that which you disclose and which you hide. And when we said to the angels, Prostrate yourselves before Adam, they fell prostrate, all except Iblis. He demurred through pride and so became a disbeliever. We said, O oh Adam, dwell you and your wife in the garden and eat you freely of it where you will. But come not near this tree, lest you become wrongdoers. But Satan caused them to deflect from it, and expelled them from the happy state in which they were. And we said, Fall down, one of you a foe to the other. There shall be for you on earth a habitation and provision for a time. 
Then Adam received from his Lord words of revelation, and he relented towards him. He is the relenting, the merciful. We said, Go down, all of you, from here. So when there comes to you from me a guidance, and who follows my guidance, no fear shall come upon them, neither shall they grieve. But they who disbelieve and deny our revelations, such are rightful peoples of the fire. They will remain in it. O children of Israel, remember my favor with which I favored you, and fulfill your part of the covenant. I shall fulfill my part of the covenant, and fear me. And believe in that which I reveal, confirming that which you possess already, and be not first to disbelieve in it, and part not with my revelations for a trifling price, and keep your duty to me. Mix not truth with falsehood, nor knowingly conceal the truth. Establish worship, pay the poor due, and bow your heads with those who bow. Do you enjoin righteousness upon mankind while you yourselves forget, and you are readers of the scripture? Have you then no sense? Seek help in patience and prayer, and truly it is hard, except for, though, except for the humble-minded, who know that they will have to meet their Lord, and that to him they are returning. O children of Israel, Remember my favour with which I favoured you, and how I preferred you to all creatures. And guard yourselves against a day when no soul will in anything benefit another, nor will intercession be accepted from it, nor will compensation be received from it, nor will they be helped. And remember when we did deliver you for Pharaoh's people, who were afflicting you with dreadful torment, slaying your sons and sparing your women. That was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And when we brought you through the sea and rescued you, and drowned the people of Pharaoh in your sight, and when we did appoint for Moses forty nights, and then you chose the calf when he had gone from you, and you were wrongdoers. Then, even after that, he pardoned you, in order that you might give thanks. And when we gave to Moses the scripture and the criterion, that you might be led aright. And when Moses said to his people, O oh my people, you have wronged yourselves by your choosing of the calf, so turn in penitence to your Creator and kill yourselves. That will be best for you with your Creator. He will relent towards you. He is the relenting, the merciful. And when you said, O oh Moses, we will not believe in you till we see Allah plainly, and even while you gazed at the lightning seized you, then we revived you after your extinction, that you might give thanks. And we caused the white cloud to overshadow you and sent down on you the honey and the quails. Eat of the good things with which we have provided you. They wronged us not, but they did wrong themselves. And when we said, Go into this township and eat freely of that which is in it, and enter the gate prostrate and say, Repentance. We will forgive you your sins and will increase for the right doers. <laughs> but those who did wrong but those who did wrong change the word which had been told them for another saying, and we sent down upon the evil doers wrath from the heaven for their evil doing and when moses asked for water for his people we said strike with your staff the rock and there gushed out from it twelve springs each tribe knew their drinking place eat and drink of that which allah has provided and do not act corruptly making mischief in the earth wa alaykum as salam mgl shazi um, this surah that I'm currently reading is uh, surah number two, um, Al-Baqarah. Um, I just got to verse 60. Um, 
glad you're here. At least somebody is here. <laughs> um, I'm going to carry on reading now, brother. Um, and when you said, O oh Moses, we are weary of one kind of food, so call on your Lord for us that he bring out for us that which the earth grows of its herbs and its cucumbers and its corn and its lentils and its onions. He said, would you exchange that which is higher for that which is lower? Go down to settled country, thus you shall get that which you demand. And humiliation and wretchedness were stamped upon them, and they were visited with wrath from Allah. That was because they disbelieved in Allah's revelation and slew prophets wrongfully. That was for their disobedience and transgression. Um, Brother Shezi, if, if you could, um, could you just confirm if you can actually hear me? Because uh, i got the mic on, but I just want to know if it's coming across okay. Um, also, if you can get the other brothers from the um, Discord to watch, that would be great. Um, for some reason, when I went to live mode, it didn't let me post a um an update on the um mgl discord um i appreciate that uh, inshallah thank you brother <clears throat> those who believe in that which is revealed to you muhammad peace be upon him and those who are jews and christians and sabians whoever believes in allah and the last day and does right surely their reward is with their lord and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. And when we made a covenant with you and caused the mount to tower above you, hold fast that which we have given you, and remember that which is in it, that you may ward off evil. Then, even after that, you turned away, and if it had not been for the grace of Allah and his mercy, you would have been among the losers. And you know of those of you who broke the Sabbath, how we said to them, Be you apes, despised and hated. And we made it an example to their own and to succeeding generations and an abomination to the God-fearing. And when Moses said to his people, Allah commands you that you sacrifice a cow, they said, Do you make fun of us? He answered, Allah forbid that I should be among the foolish. They said, Pray for us to your Lord, that he make clear to us what cow she is. Moses answered, He says, Surely she is a cow neither with calf nor immature. She is between the two conditions, so do that which you are commanded. They said, Pray for us to your Lord, that he make clear to us what color she is. Moses answered, he says, surely she is a yellow cow. Bright is her color, gladdening beholders. They said, pray for us to your Lord, that he make clear to us what cow she is. Cows are much alike to us, and if Allah wills, we may be led aright. Moses answered, he says, Surely she is a cow unyoked. She plows not the soil nor waters the tilth. Whole and without remark, they said, Now you bring the truth. So they sacrificed her, though almost they did not. And remember when you slew a man and disagreed concerning it, and Allah brought out that which you were hiding. And we said, Strike him with some of it. Thus Allah brings the dead to life and shows you his signs so that you may understand. Then, even after that, your hearts were hardened and became as rocks, or worse than rocks, for hardness, for indeed there are rocks out of which rivers gush, and indeed there are rocks which split apart so that water flows from them, and indeed there are rocks which fall down for the fear of Allah, Allah is not unaware of what you do. Oops. Mic fell. <clears throat> Have you any hope 
that they will be true to you when a party of them used to listen to the word of Allah, then used to change it after they had understood it knowingly. And when they fall in with those who believe, they say, we believe, but when they go apart one with another, they say, do you talk to them of that which Allah has disclosed to you that may contend with you before your Lord concerning it? Have you then no sense? Are they then unaware that Allah knows which they keep hidden and that which they proclaim? Among them are unlettered people who know the scripture not except from hearsay, they only guess. Therefore woe be to those who write the scripture with their hands and then say this is from Allah that they may purchase a small gain with it Woe to them for that which their hands have written, and woe to them for that which they earn by it. And they say, the fire of punishment will not touch us except for a certain number of days. Say, have you received a covenant from Allah? Truly Allah will not break his covenant. Or do you tell concerning Allah that which you know not? No, but whoever has done evil and his sin surrounds him, such are rightful owners of the fire, they will remain in it. And those who believe and do good works, such are rightful owners of the garden, they will remain in it. And remember when we made a covenant with the children of Israel, worship none except Allah, and be good to parents and to relatives, and to orphans and the needy and speak kindly to mankind and establish worship and pay the poor due. Then, after that, you slid back, except of a few of you, being averse. And when we made with you a covenant, shed not the blood of your people, nor turn your people out of your dwellings, that you ratified our covenant, and you were witnesses to it. Yet, you it is who slay each other and drive out a party of your people from their homes, supporting one another against them by sin and transgression. And if they came to you as captives, you would ransom them, whereas their expulsion was in itself unlawful for you. Do you believe in part of the scripture and disbelieve in part of it? And what is the reward of those who do so except ignominy in the life of the world and on the day of resurrection they will be consigned to the most grievous doom for Allah is not unaware of what you do such are those who buy the life of the world at the price of the hereafter their punishment will not be lightened neither will they have support and surely we gave to Moses the scripture and we caused the succession of messengers to follow after him and we gave to Jesus, son of Mary, clear proofs, and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. It is ever so that when there comes to you a messenger with that which you yourselves desire not, you grow arrogant, and some of you disbelieve, and some, of, and some you slay. And they say our hearts are hardened. No, but Allah has cursed them for their unbelief. Little is that which they believe. And when there comes to them a scripture from Allah confirming that which is in their possession, though before that they were asking for a signal triumph over those who disbelieved, and when there comes to them that which they know to be the truth, they disbelieve in it. The curse of Allah is on disbelievers. Evil is that for which they sell their souls, that which that they should disbelieve in that which Allah has revealed, envious that Allah should reveal of his bounty to whom he will of his bondsmen. They have incurred anger upon anger, for disbelievers is a shameful doom. And when it is said to them, believe in that which Allah has revealed, they say, we believe in that which was revealed to us, and that and they believe did and they disbelieve in that which comes after it though it is the truth confirming that which they possess say why then did you slay the prophets of allah previously 
if you are indeed believers. And Moses came to you with clear proofs, though while he was away, you chose the calf and you were wrongdoers. And when we made with you a covenant and caused the mount to tower above you, hold fast by that which we have given you and hear our word, they said, we hear and we rebel. And the calf was made to sink into their hearts because of their rejection. Say to them, evil is that which your belief enjoins on you, if you are believers. Say, if the abode of the hereafter is the providence of Allah, is indeed for you alone and not for others of mankind, then long for death if you are truthful. But they will never long for it because of that which their own hands have sent before them. Allah is aware of evil doers, and you will find them greediest of mankind for life and then the idolaters. One of them would like to be allowed to live a thousand years, and to live a thousand years would by no means remove him from the doom. Allah is seer of what they do. Say, who is an enemy to Gabriel? For it is who has revealed the scripture to your heart by Allah's permission, confirming that which was revealed before it, and the guidance and glad tidings to believers. Who is an enemy to Allah and his angels and his messengers and Gabriel and Michael? Then Allah himself is an enemy to the disbelievers. Surely we have revealed to you clear signs and only miscreants will disbelieve in them. It is ever so that when they make a covenant, a party of them set it aside. The truth is, most of them believe not. And when there comes to them a messenger from Allah, confirming that which they possess, a party of those who have received the scripture, fling the scripture of Allah behind their backs as if they knew not, and follow that which the devils falsely related against the kingdom of Solomon. Solomon disbelieved not, but the devils disbelieved, teaching mankind and that which was revealed to the two angels in Babel, Harut and Marut, nor did they, the two angels, teach it to anyone till they had said, We are only a temptation, therefore disbelieve not. And from these two angels people learn that by which they cause division between man and wife, but they injure by it no one except by Allah's permission, and they learn that which harms them and profits them not. And surely they do know that he who traffics in it will have no portion in the hereafter. And surely evil is the price for which they sell their souls, if they only knew. And if they had believed and kept from evil, a recompense from Allah would be better, if they only knew. O oh, you who believe, say not to the prophet listen to us but say look upon us and be you attentive listeners for disbelievers is a painful doom neither those who disbelieve among the people of the scripture nor the idolaters love that there should be sent down to you any good thing from your lord but allah chooses for his mercy whom he will and allah is of infinite bounty Nothing of our revelation, even a single verse, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we bring in place one better or the like of it. Do you not know that Allah is able to do all things? Do you not know that it is Allah to whom belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and you have not besides Allah any guardian or helper? Or would you question your messenger as Moses was questioned before? He who chooses disbelief instead of faith, surely he has gone astray from a plain road. Many of the people of the scripture long to make you disbelievers after your belief, through envy on their own account, after the truth has become manifest to them, forgive and be indulgent until Allah commands, until Allah gives command, 
Allah is able to do all things, establish worship and pay the poor due, and whatever of good you send before you for your souls, you will find it with Allah. Allah is seer of what you do. And they say, no one enters paradise unless, unless he be a Jew or a Christian. These are their own desires. Say, bring your proof if you are truthful. No, but whoever surrenders his purpose to Allah while doing good, his reward is with his Lord, and there shall no fear come upon them, neither shall they grieve. And the Jews say the Christians follow nothing, and the Christians say the Jews follow nothing, though both are readers of the scripture. Even thus speak those who know not. Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that in which they differ. And who does greater wrong than he who forbids the approach to the sanctuaries of Allah, lest his name should be mentioned in it? and shrubs for their ruin. As for such, it was never meant that they should enter them except in fear. Theirs in the world is ignominy, and theirs in the hereafter is an awful doom. Oh, forgive me. To Allah belong the east and the west, and whichever way you turn, there is Allah's countenance. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. And they say, Allah has taken to himself a son, be he glorified. No, but whatever is in the heavens and the earth is his. All are subservient to him. The originator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees a thing, he says to it only be, and it is. And those who have no knowledge say, Why does not Allah speak to us, or some sign come to us? Even thus as they now speak, spoke those before them, their hearts are all alike. We have made clear the revelations for people who are sure. We have sent you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the truth, a bringer of glad tidings and a warner, and you will not be asked about the owners of hellfire. And the Jews will not be pleased with you, nor will the Christians till you follow their creed, say, the guidance of Allah is guidance, and if you should follow their desires after the knowledge which has come to you, then you will have from Allah no protecting guardian nor helper. Those to whom we have given the scripture, who read it with the right reading, those who believe in it and who disbelieves in it, those are they who are the losers. O children of Israel, Remember my favour with which I have favoured you and how I preferred you to all creatures and guard yourselves against the day when no soul will in anything benefit another nor will compensation be accepted from it nor will intercession be of use to it nor will they be helped. And remember when his Lord tried Abraham with his commands and he fulfilled them. He said, I have appointed you a leader for mankind. Abraham said, and of my offspring, he said, my covenant includes not wrongdoers. And when we made the house a resort for mankind and sanctuary, take as your place of worship the place where Abraham stood, and we imposed a duty upon Abraham and Ishmael. Purify my house for those who go around and those who meditate in it, and those who bow down and prostrate themselves. And when Abraham prayed, My Lord, make this a region of security and bestow upon its people fruits, such of them as believe in Allah and the last day. He answered, As for him who disbelieves, I shall leave him in contentment for a while. Then I shall compel him to the doom of fire, an unhappy journey's end. And when Abraham and Ishmael were raising the foundations of the house, our Lord, accept from us this duty, you, only you, are the hearer, the knower. <clears throat> Our Lord, and make us submissive to you, and of our seed a nation submissive to you, and show us our ways of worship, 
and relent towards us. You, only you, are the relenting, the merciful. Our Lord, ra and raise up in their midst a messenger from among them who shall recite to them your revelations and shall instruct them in the scripture and in wisdom and shall make them grow. You, only you, are the mighty wise and who forsakes the religion of Abraham except him who fools himself. Surely we chose him in the world and in the hereafter. He is among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Surrender, he said, I have surrendered to the Lord of the worlds. The same did Abraham enjoin upon his sons and also Jacob. O oh, my sons, Allah has chosen for you the true religion. Therefore die not except as men who have surrendered to him. Or were you present when death came to Jacob, when he said to his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We shall worship your God, the God of your fathers, Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac. One God, and to him we have surrendered. Those are a people who have passed away. Theirs is that which they earned, and yours is that which you earn, and you will not be asked of what they used to do. And they say, Be Jews or Christians, then you will be rightly guided. Say, No, but the religion of Abraham, the upright, and he was not of the idolaters. Say, O Muslims, we believe in Allah and that which is revealed to us and that which was revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes and that which Moses and Jesus received and that which the prophets received from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them and to him we have surrendered. And if they believe in the like in which you believe, then they are rightly guided. And if they turn away, then they are in schism, and Allah will suffice you against them. He is the hearer, the knower. We take our color from Allah, and who is better than Allah at coloring? We are his worshippers. Say, do you dispute that? Do you dispute with us concerning Allah when he is our Lord and your Lord? Ours are our works, and yours are your works. We look to him alone. Or say you that Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes were Jews or Christians. Say, do you know best, or does Allah? And who is more unjust than he who hides a testimony which he has received from Allah? Allah is not unaware of what you do. Those are a people who have passed away. Theirs is that which they earned and yours that which you earn and you will not be asked of what they used to do. The foolish of the people will say, What has turned them from the Qibla, which they formerly observed? Say, To Allah belong the East and the West. He guides whom he will to a straight path. Thus we have appointed you a middle nation, that you may be witnesses against mankind, and that the messenger may be a witness against you and we appointed the Qibla which you formerly observed only that we might know him who follows the messenger from him who turns on his heels in truth it was a hard test except for those whom Allah guided but it was not Allah's purpose that your faith should be in vain for Allah is full of pity merciful towards mankind we have seen the turning of your face to heaven, and now surely we will make you turn towards a Qibla which is dear to you. So turn your face towards the inviolable place of worship, and you, O Muslims, wherever you may be, turn your faces when you pray towards it. Those who have received the scripture know that is the truth from their Lord, and Allah is not unaware of what they do. And even if you bring to those who have received the scripture all kinds of signs, they would not follow your Qibla, nor can you be a follower of their Qibla, nor are some of them followers of the Qibla of others. 
and if you should follow their desires after the knowledge which has come to you, then surely you were of the evil doers. Those to whom we have those to whom we gave the scripture recognized as they recognized their sons, but a party of them knowingly concealed the truth. It is the truth from their Lord, so be not you of those who waver, and each one has a goal towards which he turns, so vie with one another in good works. From wherever you may be, Allah will bring you all together. Allah is able to do all things. And from wherever you come out, turn your face towards the inviolable place of worship. It is the truth from your Lord. Allah is not unaware of what you do. From wherever you come out, turn your face towards the inviolable place of worship. And wherever you may be, turn your faces towards it, so that men may have no argument against you, except such of them as do injustice. Fear them not, but fear me, and so that I may complete my grace upon you, and that you may be guided. Even as we have sent to you a messenger from among you, who recites to you our revelations, and causes you to grow, and teaches you the scripture and wisdom, and teaches you that which you knew not. Therefore remember me, I will remember you. Give thanks to me, and reject me not. O you who believe, seek help in steadfastness and prayer. Allah is with the steadfast. And call not those who are slain in the way of Allah dead. No, they are living, only you perceive not. And surely we shall try you with something of fear and hunger, and loss of wealth and lives and crops, but give glad tidings to the steadfast. Who say, when a misfortune strikes them, we are Allah's, and to him we are returning. Such are they on whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy. Such are the rightly guided. As Safa and Al Marwa are among the indications of Allah. It is therefore no sin for him who is on pilgrimage to the house or visits it to go around them. And he who does good of his own accord. Allah is responsive, aware. Oh, we had a second viewer there for a second, but they've disappeared. Um, those who hide the proofs and guidance which we revealed after we had made it clear to mankind in the scripture, such are accursed of Allah and accursed of those who have the power to curse. Except those who repent and amend and make manifest, then it is towards whom I relent, I am the relenting, the merciful. Those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, on them is the curse of Allah and of angels and of men combined. They ever dwell in it, the doom will not be lightened for them, neither will they be reprieved. Your God is one God, there is no God except him, the beneficent the merciful in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the difference of night and day and the ships which run upon the sea with that which is of use to men and the water which Allah sends down from the sky by it reviving the earth after its death and dispersing all kinds of beasts in it and the ordinance of the winds and the clouds obedient between heaven and earth are signs for people who have sense. Yet of mankind are some who take to themselves objects of worship which they set as rivals to Allah, loving them with a love like that which is the due of Allah. Those who believe are stauncher in their love for Allah. Oh, those who, oh that those who do evil had only known when they see the doom that power belongs wholly to Allah and that Allah is severe in punishment. When those who were followed disown those who followed them, and they see the doom, and all their aims collapse with them, and those who were only followers will say, if a return were possible for us, we would disown them, even as they have disowned us, 
Thus will Allah show them their own deeds as anguish for them, and they will not emerge from the fire. O mankind, eat of that which is lawful and wholesome in the earth, and follow not the footsteps of the devil. He is an open enemy for you. He enjoins upon you only the evil and the foul, and that you should tell concerning Allah that which you know not. So, um, I'm going to stop it there for now, because I want to um, split the reading um, over the course of Ramadan, um, so that we don't finish the whole Quran uh, within like a couple of weeks or something. So I want, I want to stretch it out. Um, obviously, yesterday was the first day of Ramadan, so I kind of missed that, because there was a 24-hour uh, wait to live stream which I didn't know about so I started today but what I'll do is um, on on Friday night or Saturday night inshallah I will uh, read a few extra pages to cover that first day so that hopefully we still finish the Quran by the um, 29th or 30th day um, so I'm going to stop it there um, I'm glad for the um, one listener I had, um, MGR Shazi, I, I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope this was beneficial to you. Uh, it's definitely beneficial for me. There was another person who joined for like 20 seconds or something, but they disappeared. Um, thanks for also giving it a like. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to stop it there. Thank you for listening, and I hope this benefits anybody who's going to be watching it after. Um, and I'll come back at you tomorrow night with the second part. I don't know how many verses I'll do tomorrow. It'll probably 13 pages again. Um, but until then, um, um, take care of yourselves. Um, you know, um, you know. I hope the fast is easy for you. I hope you're not getting headaches or anything like that. No, I hope Allah makes it easy for you and makes it easy for me. Um, that's all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.